got the, uh, the car took off the lift and I moved it out, uh, cleaned up the place. It was kind of getting nasty in here. And uh, let me show you what all we were doing. So I got the uh, car out here because we got some things we were wanting to do. For one, I've got these two buildings right here behind the house. The one long ways and then I got the short one. And I'm taking these two buildings and I'm going to move them and they're going to come back here to the back of the property and I'm going to put them, line them up next to these, uh, to the uh, storage container. Uh, I plan on removing these two trees and getting rid of them, but I'm going to line them all up and maybe build a roof over everything. Uh, this building was slid in an angle with this fence and the railroad track comes by at an angle. So I had to slide this building over and I took my truck and put a chain to it and I drug that thing sideways. Got it straightened up with the back of the house. I'm gonna put my two buildings back here. And right beside here, you can see, right beside this, you can see where that dirt's at before I moved it. I used to have that tent set up right here, which I kept some stuff in my old tractors and stuff. So I'm getting rid of that. But I took and uh, slid it and moved it over here next to my two trailers. And uh, I'm fixing to get rid of it. It's not gonna stay here, but right now I'm gonna use it to get the rest of the body work done on the yellow car. I brought the yellow car into here so I can come out here and sand. And as you can tell, I've been doing some, some uh, body work along this bottom. I've just about got it straightened up on this side. I gotta do the fill one more time and one more prime. As you can see, you know, I got a little spot right here I gotta address. I've got a couple little spots right in here I'm gonna take care of. As uh, far as down here, everything looks good. I got actually just one little spot right here and one little spot right here I got to fill. And then I'll put the primer back on it and sand it. Still haven't done nothing other than rough that in up top. I'll be getting on this. And then I got to come to this side. And you can see how stuff just starts to rust. That's the reason I got to get on this, get this stuff covered up. But uh, this side's going to be a lot more extensive, especially here in the back. But once I get going, it's going to come on. But uh, I've got some other projects going to come in, so that's kind of where we're at. And uh, one other thing, you know I'm right next to a railroad track right here. And you know, trains go by pretty frequently. And I've been noticing on the trains, they do a lot of tag art people come in you know they take their spray cans and some of them they are really really cool so what I'm planning on doing is I've been taking some pictures of the, the of the of the tag art that's been on the train so uh, on this video I'm going to show you all a few of the pictures that I've been seeing on here some of the cool artwork that they do and it'll be at the end of this video so you know if you don't want to see it all you can click off of it if not but uh don't forget to like us subscribe need all the viewers we can get and uh, check out some of this artwork man these guys with a spray can can do some really cool work see you later mm -hmm.